Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing my everyday makeup. Like I wouldn't take any advice from me. This is just what I do. Nonetheless, we're gonna do this and it'll be it'll be great. I've noticed in all my videos, I always say it'll be great. And I've realized I think I'm talking to myself more than you, so. Does my forehead look massive or is it just me? So far on my face, I have moisturizer. I don't use primer or anything. I just put moisturizer on. So I always start off with concealer and I use the Revlon Photo Ready Candid Concealer in 010. I've just been kind of putting it in my inner corner then on my outer corner I guess I think I saw someone do it in a video and then I was like right okay that's that's me now and then on the eyelids and I do have some spots but I don't really like to cover my spots but I will do for the sake of my tutorial <laughs> I just use my finger to blend it out normally I would use a sponge but I'm gonna be completely honest with you I'm way too lazy to go downstairs to pour water on it so it's too dry to use and I'm not gonna go sort it out because I'm a piece of shit but if I'm feeling like insecure, I don't particularly like putting foundation on. So I just use this Glossier skin tint stuff. And honestly, I don't think it actually does anything, but it makes me feel better about myself. If I remember to use cream blush before I start using powder, then I will use this. It's the Maybelline New York Dream Matte Blush. Blah, blah. And it doesn't say what shade it's in. Oh, flirty pink. And I like this a lot. It's just really cute. And my like method of blending my spots into my face is just use lots of blush until they kind of just look like they belong there you can you can keep that one <laughs> i also like to put blush at the bottom of my chin i'm not sure why i started doing that or when i did but i did and i like it <laughs> i think it kind of makes your whole face go together rather than your cheeks just being really red but that's just my opinion <laughs> after i put cream blush on i use the revolution blush palette to kind of intensify the blush. I have actually been using this shade. Um, it's more of like a peachy tan shade. And I've kind of been using that as bronzer because I don't really like how harsh bronzer actually is on my face. So I've kind of turned to this. And then I just go into one of the more pinky shades. I just put it on my cheeks and up the side of my head. <laughs> and then I just like to go in with translucent powder just to set my face. Previously, I would only put this under my eyes or where I've put concealer, I guess. But <laughs> since it's been really warm, I've been putting it on my upper lip and my chin quite a bit because for some reason that's where I sweat. And I don't know, I don't like sweating off my face. Oh my God. Oh my God, I just broke my mirror. I just broke it. I just pushed it right out. Look, it goes like that. I've just pushed it. What is wrong with me? <laughs> okay, so for eyebrows, I just like to brush them out I use a angled brush and some powder. The powder that I've been using right now is just a brown shade from the Morphe X James Charles palette. And it's just a really dark one. That's it. Also, in case you're wondering, the brushes that I use are a mixture of Morphe brushes, masked, mask brushes. I got them from Boots, they're the purple ones. And I've got the occasional NYX brush there as well, so. They're the brushes that I use. So yeah, it's just a lot of this and then this. Are they symmetrical? No. Do I care? Also no. <laughs> Honestly, my eyebrows have never been the same shape and they I don't think they ever will be. The next thing I would probably do is eyeshadow and I do always put eyeshadow on when I'm doing my makeup, obviously. <laughs> But I don't actually do anything particularly interesting. So the palette that I like to use is the Revolution Haunted House Shadow Palette. I don't look like me today. I think I've done my eyebrows too thick. I don't feel like me. <laughs> okay, so all I do, and this is super lazy and not at all interesting, I just use this shade Peril and then I just kind of blend that in my crease. I use a different brush for this every single time as well. Like I do plan to be a little bit more adventurous with my eye looks in the future but right now i need stability so we're <laughs> i've been doing the same thing every day for months and then i go in again with the same shade and i go onto my lid and then i get a smaller brush and i bring it down onto my lower lash line if i'm feeling really really adventurous i will go into survival this purple shade i will use the little brush and put that in my crease just to kind of deepen it Oh God, I made a mess of that. Anyway, then I'll go in with the bigger brush again and kind of just blend that out and try to pretend that it didn't happen. This is a safe space. 
And then we will go in with Attic, which is a really pretty shade. It's just this. It's sort of like a, a pinky gold. And I just kind of scrape a bit off that, off the palette because it's a very weird texture. <laughs> and I've got it all over myself. <laughs> go in with my ring finger because that's what you're supposed to do, isn't it? Only use your ring finger on your eyes, kids. And then I just put that on my inner corner and I bring it out into the middle. I have found that using my finger for stuff like this is always better. Brushes just let me down. We don't have room for failure. <laughs> just wait till I get my eyeliner out. So because I struggle to commit to colors, I don't know why that took me so long. I was trying to think of a funny joke and I just could not. I always find that I have not built up the color enough. So after I finish doing that, I like to go in again with Parole and just build it up a bit better so that it actually exists. So next step is highlight, which I like to use this shade, which is Phantom. And it's just a really nice, I think it's like a yellow toned highlight. It, it's pretty, I like it. So I put that on the inner bits of my eyes and then I usually just put like a little bit on my nose. Usually I have a nicer brush for this, but I can't find it. And I kind of thought maybe we should try the fan brush. Do you remember when everyone used to use fan brush for highlight? That did nothing. <laughs> okay, so now that we've got the weakest highlight on that anybody's ever seen, honestly, highlight, I've kind of been going off and I feel like that's sacrilege, isn't it? In the makeup world at the moment. I don't know, I just don't like having glowing cheeks. I just think it makes me look really like wide headed. <laughs> I like it on my nose and stuff, but if I'm feeling a little frisky, I'll give myself a little highlight. I will not use this brush though. The last time I used this was in my Bob Ross painting video. That's why it's blue. <laughs> The eyeliners that I've been using at the moment are the Colour Me Fine Colourpop Fine Liners. Eyeliners? They come in different colours and they're beautiful purely because they come in different colours. But today, because we've got eyeshadow on and I'm just not feeling it, we're gonna be using black eyeliner. Eyeliner is not it for me. Okay, so they say, and the trick that I always use is to follow your lower lash line and no matter how many times I do it, it I, it never goes right and to be honest I think my eyes are completely different shapes so I don't think it really helps. The first stroke, the beginning of the end. Okay I don't usually do it this outwards but I mean who am I to say no to this wing? Is that okay? No. <laughs> okay so they're both completely different and I wouldn't actively choose either of them. Can we hold me to this? So next year Hannah, when you inevitably decide to recreate this video, you better be able to do eyeliner or I'm gonna come for you. I'm not even sure what the problem is, it's just... Okay, yeah, that one's kind of cute. I feel like this is a big part of eyeliner for me, is the correction stage, because it never goes right the first time. Also, this is a signature look for me, the uh, leftover eyeliner that didn't make it. Didn't quite make the cut, but refuses to leave. So then I just massage myself until my makeup just corrects itself. A classic technique. I'll go in with mascara, which is the Rimmel London Extreme Black Wonderful Mascara. And I've been using this for a while. It's all right. I have a love-hate relationship with mascara because I can never seem to find one that I just love and accept fully. I'm really strongly fighting the urge to pull a horrendous face. We're almost there. I just need to put lipstick on. The lip thing that I use at the moment is this Super Slay Ink Crayon by Maybelline and I'm fucking in love with this. I can't, I can't express how much I love it. I really struggle with lipstick and this has saved me. I, I've honestly fallen out with Tesco, which is where I got it from because they had a load of these security tags on it and now my lipstick is absolutely disgusting. Oh yeah, there you go. <laughs> Lovely. But yeah, as you can imagine, it's literally just a crayon and for some reason, it being a crayon has made my life immensely easier. <laughs> and then I do like to overline a little bit because I do have itty bitty baby lips. <laughs> so yeah, that is it. That's how I do my makeup pretty much every day. I'm a creature of habit, so this has actually just been the way I've been doing my makeup for a while. Yeah, I hope you like this makeup look. I know it didn't really go very well because I'm just not very good, but everyday tutorial, baby. Next year, 
Next year it's happening again. Next year I'll be a pro at eyeliner and I'll be doing some sick eyeshadow look. It, you won't, I won't even be recognizable. So that is it.